What's up guys? Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to clean your AR-15 rifle. This is not meant to be a super in-depth cleaning video. Um, this is just to get your rifle kind of working again if you've been shooting it a lot and uh, keep it functioning. If you've got a boar snake, I would use that to clean your boar, cleaning rods. It can scratch the boar um, if they're metal especially and uh, they just take up a lot of space and it takes a while to assemble them and you got to carry patches. Um, boar snakes are a lot easier and they keep your boar pretty clean, which is all you really need, especially when you're in the field or field type environments. All right, let's break the gun down. We'll just set our lower aside there. Take my sling off so it's not in the way. I'll have the bolt carrier group there. Charging handle, and I got my upper. Okay. Really, the only items that I use are the boar snake and this rag here. So, let's unwind our boar snake. Now, if you were trying to clean your rifle really quickly and just get it into action, you don't need to boar snake it. Um, this is just like you've got a couple minutes in the field, do some weapons maintenance. One thing annoying about the boar snake is it can be kind of difficult at first to get it through if you've got like a muzzle brake on your rifle, kind of depending on the design of the brake. There we go, boar snake's good. You can pass it through a couple times if you think it's very dirty. My gun isn't super dirty right now, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. While I've got my upper in hand, I'm gonna take my rag and just kind of wipe inside with my fingers, try and get some of the gunk out. Try and get into the star chamber as much as you can with a finger. Get some of that carbon out. All right, main thing you need to clean, bolt carrier group, okay? If you're, again, if you're in a hurry, say you didn't sink the board and you just need to get the gun running, I wouldn't even take this apart. I would wipe around the bolt where it goes into the bolt carrier group and kind of rotates in there and slides. I'd wipe around that as much as I can. I would wipe down the outside, try and get as much dirt off as you can if there's a bunch of dirt or carbon on it. And then I would lube it up and throw it back in the gun. Um, if you've got a couple more minutes, you can disassemble this get it a little cleaner. So we'll do that right now. Pull out the firing pin, retaining pin. Don't lose that. Wouldn't really recommend doing this like in the field so much because you can lose this pin really easily. So be careful with that. If you want to like put it in your pocket or something like that, that would definitely mitigate that risk of loss. Wipe off. The firing pin doesn't need to be super fancy. In the military, they always had us clean these guns until they were all scraped clean of everything. Um, that's not really necessary for the gun to actually work. So don't think that because you learned that in the military or something that you have to do that. Pull out the cam pin. Give it a, give it a little white, put it there. Pull out the bolt. All right. This is the main part right here. You just want to wipe off the bolt all around so it can slide and rotate freely in there. If you're doing a more detailed clean and you've got like a multi-tool on you or something like that, you can kind of scrape the carbon off the back of the bolt there behind the gas rings. Um, it's not super necessary unless it's really caked on there. Um, I've only got a, like maybe 500 rounds through this gun since I cleaned it last, so it's not that bad. Just give it a good wiping. I'll put the rag on the bolt face and kind of wipe that out just so there's not crud built up on there. Take the rag, get underneath inside of all these little cracks. You can even wad it up and push it down into where the, the bolt goes on the front of the bolt carrier group. Kind of wipe that out a little bit. And at that point, you're pretty much good to go. It's going to work just fine. Rotate the bolt around so it's in the right position. Camp him back in. Rotate it. 
firing pin in, retention pin in. Okay. All right, it's not coming out. You always want to check that just because the firing pin, if you put the retention pin in in the wrong spot, the firing pin can still slide back and get jammed inside your gun. That's uh, not a fun day. And your gun won't work. Okay, wipe off the charging handle really quick here. And I'll take a look at my lower. Usually the lower is not too dirty. You can wipe it off a little bit, wipe off the surface of like the hammer, things like that, but it's pretty good. So I actually don't put lube in my lowers because then dirt will stick to it and carbon will stick to it. So I keep it unlubed and I pretty much never need to clean my lowers. All right, we're going to lube, lube up the bolt carrier group. <clears throat> Main thing you want to get is lube around where the bolt enters the bolt carrier group. So I get the lube on there. This is an old lubricant bottle. It was just some random lube that I had, but it just has automatic transmission fluid in it right now. You can use motor oil, stuff like that. It's all meant to lubricate metal and car engines uh, go for thousands and thousands of miles. It's gonna be fine in your gun. You don't need to buy some special lubricant that some manufacturer thinks you need to pay $20 for a little tiny bottle like this. Um, so, yeah. I don't swear by any kind of special lubes. Then I'm just gonna put lube, I'm gonna put a little bit down in like the cam pin channel there so it can rotate smoothly and just put lube kind of all over the bolt carrier group and wipe it around with my hands so it's nice and slick. You don't want it totally disgustingly wet because lots of things will stick to it then, but getting it a little slick is good. You can put a little on your charging handle too if you want. You want it to slide smooth and slap it back in your gun. Make sure the bolt is forward on the bolt carrier group. All right. We're good. Good to go. I just wipe off the lube on the surface of the bolt there so sand and dirt flying up if I'm shooting close to the ground doesn't stick to the side of the bolt there. Um, just seems to help keep it cleaner. So I know this video took a few minutes probably for me to go through all these steps explaining them but if you're just doing this in the field um, quickly and you're not having to explain it, you should be able to do it in one or two minutes, get it wiped down and back into action. So that's how you do a quick cleaning of your AR-15. Hope this helps.